name is Michael Galloway. I am from just outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and my job title is engineering technician. My name is Michael Sakari. I am from Auburn, California, and I'm an equipment technician. I'm Miranda Arnold. I'm originally from Boise, Idaho, and I'm a senior equipment technician. Engineering technician is mainly going to do preventative maintenance on the tool and troubleshoot and analyze data that the tool feeds to us. Anything that goes wrong with hardware, software, uh, anything that may be in the chambers that's causing issues with the wafer. As far as schooling goes, I don't have a degree that's related to semiconductors or engineering whatsoever. I actually have a Bachelor of Arts in Asian Studies. I saw that TSMC was a growing company and I wanted to be a part of something big out here in Arizona. So it was the opportunity of being a part of something new and something that is is going to grow and it's going to build and it's there's opportunity for growth and, and a future with the company. The, the real fun comes in where I get to work with the engineers and see what they're doing and see what the tool is doing and, and what stage it's on and um, if there's an issue, how do we solve that issue? And um, that's, that's the exciting part of the day. When I'm on duty, it's I would say like 60% computer, 40% in the fab, but sometimes there'll be a lot going on and it's more like 80% in the fab, 20% at the desk. What happened last night on the tools? Um, are there any particle monitors? Those are basically wafers we run through the tool to see if there's any health issue on the tool. Uh, maybe there's particle buildup in the tool we need to uh, do like down preventive maintenance on. We will assign people to do PMs, that's preventative maintenance. So it's one part data analysis. So again, with like um, the particle monitors and the etching rates, that's where you kind of need to review what your wafers look like. That's the analysis side. And then the hands-on side, the mechanical side, the outlook, for like AI and chip demand, it's really good. This is a really good company or industry to be in right now. Um, I don't see the demand slowing down anytime soon from what I've read. The most rewarding part for me personally is the challenges and opportunities that the job presents. As long as you stay determined and keep your eye on the larger picture, I think anybody could, could do this job. The most rewarding thing is when you have like a chronic tool down and you're able to solve that and you're like yes I was a part of getting that tool back up and you know achieving our, our green to green you know manufacturing status. The simple fact that I get to work with um, semiconductors which to me is futuristic and far beyond anything that I ever thought I'd be working with and it really gave me a sense of belonging to a company and, and um, a sense of a home away from home. I work five years in the future. Like, it's incredible the things that, that we can do here. I wish you could see some of the images, like the things that we get to see. It's just incredible. So what are you waiting for? We welcome you to join us in changing the world one chip at a time. Text TSMC to 52345 for information on how to take the first step towards your new career or email us at azcareers at tsmc.com.